Hey everybody, Bradley's Fan 9 here. This video I'm going to show you how to use Cydia Impactor to install, in this case, iSpoofer on your iOS device. Now if you watched my last video on Pokemon Go, I described spoofing and what the basics are about it and how to get going. And I mentioned that you needed Cydia Impactor and a computer to install it on your device, so this is what I'm going to show you in this video. So let's get started here. We're going to want to go to the internet and you're going to want to look up Cydia Impactor. It should be the first one there and then you'll see this page. It'll ask you what version of Cydia Impactor you need. I'm using Windows so I'll choose that one. It'll be in your downloads. Now it'll come in a zipped folder at first, meaning you're going to have to extract it to be able to use the content inside. I'll show you here, you open it, but the impactor file that we need will not be usable. But to make it usable, pretty easy, right click and then you go to extract all. I advise extracting it in the same place. And there we go, you see the little tool icon there. So now we got City Impactor installed, that's step one. You can see there, zip file, unzip file. Once you got the unzipped one, we're good to go for City Impactor. So now we're going to need the IPA file, is our next step here. So we got City Impactor ready to go. On to the next step. So now we're going to want to look up iSpoofer or if you're using some other IPA wherever you download it from. But in this case I'm going to show you iSpoofer right away. It'll show you a download IPA button right there. You'll want to click that. It tells you City Impactor is needed, blah blah blah, but I'm showing you how it's done. So you hit download IPA. Just like City Impactor, it'll go to your downloads folder. Now once it downloads, I advise you bring it to your desktop, drag it on up there, like so. Alright, now we got our IPA file, that's basically Pokemon Go, the spoofing app version. And so you can't just download that from the app store, so that's why we need to use Cydia Impactor. So our next step is we need to become a developer to allow apps to be put onto our phone with this. So you kind of cheese your way around it by making an Apple account and then follow these steps. So we're going to start off, you're going to have to go to appleid.apple.com. Because we're going to need to generate an app specific password, this is what we're doing here. So first off you sign in and if you're signing in for the first time you go down to security here and you'll need to activate two-factor authentication. So on one of your devices you're going to need to follow the steps there. It's pretty easy. I'll show you here. Once you turn that on on your device, you'll be able to do this. It'll send you a code or whatever saying it wants you to use your Apple ID somewhere and you just accept it and it gives you a code. And now it says app specific password. So now you hit generate password. The name of this won't matter. But now here, once this goes away, you won't be able to find this again, so make sure to copy this. Don't screw it up. Highlight it all and copy it, and now immediately paste it in Notepad. I advise this strongly. And then you're also going to want to put your email there as well. And there we go. Now you got your email and your password ready to go, so if you ever need to do this again, 
because you do need to continue to impact your phone. The game will just stop opening at one point and you'll just have to redo the last process here. So next step you're going to have to open iTunes because you have to have your device trusted. So once you plug your device in, it'll come up with a little message like this here. Tells you you need to do some on your device, so it looks like that on your device there on the right of the screen. You hit trust. So now you're okay. If you tried to do it without doing that, it would tell you the device wasn't allowed. So now that we got that out of the way, you can close iTunes if you want. Not a big deal at that point. My cat kept plugging around all my cords, so it kept opening it. So here we go. Now we got all our things we need. So open Cydia Impactor. You can see your device will be on the top line and then you're going to want to drag that file I told you to put on the desktop and now it'll ask for your email so you go to your notepad you copy that email which is the Apple ID you used hit OK and now it asks for the password and this is where a lot of people get stuck trying to do this on their own so if you got follow my steps you should be able to generate an app specific password use your email and you could do up to four devices on one email so if you have friends or whatever, you're going to have to make another Apple ID and create another app specific password to have four more devices. But either way, it'll go through this little process here and at the end it'll say completed. So it seems like a lot, but the three steps are download Cydia Impactor, download the IPA file, and then get an app specific password and then once you have those three items you can get this done and then once you have all three it's easy to re-impact your phone you just delete the app plug it in and redo this process just drag the file back down and if the game has an update and iSpoofer will update their app you go to their website and you download that IPA file and then redo this process I hope this was easy to follow. I know you'll enjoy playing Pokemon this way and you'll be really excited if this works so I hope this worked for you guys. We're almost done here, I'll show you what it's like once it finishes. There we are. And once it says complete, it won't really show a full green bar, but it's done. Might be a little misleading, but it is done. So this is what it'll look like on the phone. Once you have it downloaded, it just looks like the regular app. And then it'll say you're an untrusted developer. So you're going to want to go to settings, general, go down to device management, and then you'll see the email you used. You hit trust, and now you'll be able to use the app. And voila, you got the spoofing Pokemon Go app ready to go. So you hit allow, you allow the location, and then you just basically sign in like so, but you can see the little spoofing things on the side. Make sure to make yourself older than 18, I believe. Just kind of scroll down and give yourself a later date because you won't be able to sign into your Google account if you're too young. I found that out the hard way. There we go. Once you sign in, you're basically good to go. You could teleport for free. There are options for pro subscribers or whatever. Costs about seven bucks Canadian, five bucks American per month. You could get a three month deal to save yourself a couple bucks. But this is the life right here. You'll get to experience all the stuff. You can see my other video if you haven't seen that. It describes most of the stuff in the spoofing app. And in the future I'll be making in-depth videos on each of the features in the app to help you fully experience the game and 
enjoy it to your full potential. So I hope you enjoyed my video. I hope this was easy to follow and you are now able to teleport around the world and experience the whole world of Pokemon. Have fun out there, best of luck, and I'll see you in my other videos.